Greetings, my dear brothers and sisters in our Lord Jesus Christ. Our reflection of today is from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 15, verse 1 to 3, and from verse 11 to 32. During this time of Lent, today the Gospel is clear and presenting about a parable of the, the prodigal son. This Gospel, there are three aspects need to take note of. The first one, conversion or change. The second, mercy. The third, forgiveness or reconciliation. To start with the first one, conversion or change. In the gospel, conversion is clear that a son who went far from his father later come to his senses that is better to stand up and go back to his father. The son realized that he has sinned against heaven and, of course, against his father. In our lives, we might be like this son in a sinful situation. We sometimes doubt whether we can get out from this situation or change or not change. Of course, we can renew our lives in our faith by turning to God, coming from darkness and be at light. The second aspect that is merciful. We hear in the gospel that the father was so merciful, loving and kind to his son after his son returned back. We need to experience God's mercy through the humble acceptable of one's mistakes and asking for pardon from God without punish anybody. We sometimes feel angry and harsh to each other when one did something wrong. But we must take a, a good example from this son and from this father, who was so humble, even slaughtered a fattened calf for his son, to give thanks to God that his son is back and safe. The third aspect, that is forgiveness or reconciliation. We can relate a strong reconciliation between a father and his son. No more argument between the two but only a great joy and celebration. The sacrament of reconciliation is coming back to God and coming back to each other, then being in, in the state of children of God. This gospel is clear and is indicated that although we sometimes get lost, maybe we are in a sinful nature, of humanity. We need to experience God's infinite mercy in order to lead a true Christian life. Let us be filled with compassion, love, forgiveness, and a kind to each other and unite with Jesus. Then from there, we can unite with our fellow human beings. Amen. Um.